Now that we have a database connection that we can pass through to our route handlers, it's time for us to actually save something to the database. Uh, so let's first start by uh, investigating what our database sort of looks like here. So we have a database folder and this, if we uh, look at it for tasks, let's say, um, this was all auto-generated by CRM when we, um, when we pointed it at our database and had it sort of, well, figure things out. We, um, uh, it shows us the types, it shows everything that we need, uh, but we kind of need access to this in order to create things in the database. And we're gonna do this with this create task here. But we're gonna run into a, a slight problem. Uh, this database, we first need to uh, mod it because our program isn't a uh, well, Rust analyzer, Rust, it isn't aware of database at all in any way. So we're gonna mod database to begin with. That's gonna load up this file, which then is going to bring in everything that we need. Okay, back to create tasks. We need to bring in the, uh, we need to create an active model, um, which is going to allow us to start creating a, um, a new item in the database. Okay, so let, it's gonna call this new task equals, well, the active model, we can't directly get it, um, nor do I really want to, I wanna go through tasks but it's gonna be a little bit interesting. We're gonna use tasks, which is you know, directly from this, uh, this file here. So tasks, pull that in, and active model. Now this doesn't have a constructor or builder or anything else like that associated with it. Uh, we're gonna directly create it. And if I do a fill structs field, uh, put a semicolon on that, so Rust Analyzer is happy. Um, this is what it looks like. We're trying to create a new task with everything on here, but we don't want everything on here. For example, we don't know what the ID is gonna be. That's gonna be created for us by the database. Uh, but what we can do, we can get rid of this ID and start with, I'm just putting in two dots. Rust Analyzer takes over and suggests, hey, what if we just do this default default? Uh, so what this means is everything that I don't directly put in, it's gonna replace with whatever the default value is going to be inside the database. So priority, sure, we wanna set this. Um, we can actually take a look and see in TAS here. Uh, the priority is an option and a string. If we also want to take a look at what we set this up as in the, the database initialization, you can look at init.sql and see, okay, TAS uh, priority is a varchar four, the default is null, and if we look at some other you know, tasks that we entered in, uh, the, ta the priority is gonna be something like A, B, or C. So let's, uh, we wanna set this to B um, and A, well, B or C. Let's, let's just sort of manually set this to be whatever we feel like to, be, to begin with. So um, this is going to be a set Um, we have to use this special set thing from uh, CRM and it's looking for an option. So some, and then some character. So for example, we might do like A. I'll do a two owned on this. It is a string that it's looking into so I can't actually pass it a character. Okay, a title is another thing. So let's just do a, another set. Um, this doesn't need a sum because it's required. It's just a string. So this is going to be my new title. And we will to own this. Completed at, well, our new tasks aren't completed at, uh, and it's not required. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that off. Uh, sure, we can put a new description. This is another set. Uh, so this is my new task description. And we'll two owns uh, that. Oh, and this is an option also as well because the description is not required. So it's gonna be a sum like that. 
Uh, okay, deleted at. This is not going to be deleted. I'm going to leave that as default as null. We don't have a user ID right now, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that as blank. That's okay. We have the task set up that they don't have to take a user ID. And uh, is default. Again, that, that's going to default to null, which means it's not default. That's fine. Okay, so this is creating a new task. And then I can hit new task dot save. Uh, we need to pass it in a reference to our database. Now this returns a uh, let's see returns a core pin. So when we start seeing like pin oh future okay so we need to await this. Uh, then it's going to be a result. Let's go ahead and save this to something. So we'll call this result equals. Ah, now we can see what this is. So it's going to be a result with the active model. So uh, we haven't done any advanced um, uh, error handling yet. So let's just go and unwrap it. Oh, and that's an active model. So basically, we save it uh, to the database and it gives us back an active model which uh, we should be able to uh, debug or at least print out some things of what's going on. So let's run a debug on result. Now hitting this route, if I just hit this directly, um, uh, we will, you know, we'll, we'll save some things. Um, let's go ahead. This is going to be a post to create a post to slash tasks. So let's go ahead and set up Thunder Client here. I've already previously started the um, the server, so we're going to do a post to slash, slash, slash local host for three thousand tasks. In our body, we're going to use JSON. Um, well, actually, it doesn't matter what we send right now. So I'm just going to hit status OK, and I want to see. In our cargo watch, here is that active model that was set. So, oh, our ID is four now. Okay, so we got an ID back. Um, here is our priority is A. Our title is my new title. Completed at is this none. Description is this sum. Deleted at is none. Um, now, notice that there's this unchanged here. Uh, what this means is, yes, it's been put into the database, but I got an active model back that we could set things on and then make more changes to it, potentially do another save or an update or, or something with that. And the unchanged here is uh, noting whether or not it needs to, well, update that if I run the save method again. Now, just doing the same task over and over again isn't really all that helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pass in, what are we doing? We're doing the title. So our title is going to be a um, do something cool. Uh, we have a description. So a description is going to be, that was a do something. There we go. Um, this task created by uh, Thunder Client. Uh, and then we have a priority. Priority is uh, obviously A. Okay, so if we just do this. Now, if I hit send again, nothing really changes. It's still, well, the A, but it's still my new title. We do have a new ID here. Uh, we need to remember to come into create task and grab that information from the data coming in. So let's uh, let's do that next. So we're gonna have a pub struct uh, request task. Uh, we are going to derive the serialize for this. Uh, we're gonna have a uh, in this case, I don't think I need pub because we're in the same file and we're actually going to be reading these out. So uh, it won't yell at me about un unread items in the struct. So we need a title. 
you're a string. Uh, we need a priority. Um, now you're you're an option because we don't really need the priority, uh, but you're also a string inside there. And we need a description, which is also an option string. Uh, we have our extension coming in. I just want something else. The order doesn't actually matter. I can put this before or after. So let's do this here. Where we have JSON. Uh, this is going to be, now we have this as new tasks. This is request task, essentially. Uh, and your type is JSON request task. Now I want to set the priority to be, well, this is some A to owned. Uh, I already have it as an option, so I can do request task dot priority, which is already an option string. Title. Um, I have that as a string inside of request task, so dot title. And description, same exact thing here. So you're going to be a request task dot description. Okay. Uh, so if we come back to our new request and I hit send, we're going to come open up our terminal again. And now we see, hey, okay, so ID6, um, titles do something cool. And our description is this task created by Thunder Client. Okay, so excellent. So we have now created a task. Um, we've defined what that task is is going to be from Thunder Client. We send that in a post request to our route handler. Our route handler takes in the database, um, connects to the well the model, and then sets you know fields on that new model, saves it, and uh, then just prints out the result. Uh, we could send that result back in a JSON document or anything else that we want, uh, but that's the basics. We have now. We have now successfully created an item in the database. So mark that as completed. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.